the fun and friendly nursery is next. This is a nine furlong nought to eighty five. And let's take a look at the field at the top. We've got note for Paul Rhodes, resentful Nick Andy, David Robertson, Nags Head for Graham Clutterbuck going for a three timer, Twilight World, Martin Leadham, Hatsumomo, surprise Derek Hinton, ESPN, Satya Sandra Sagram, Jaga Ball for Rod McClure, Still Water for Obi One, Queen of Spice for Stu Gray, Salem South, and Reggie's Love for Thomas Rogers, and Rude for Matt Cooper. So a field of 12. So rain comes down, final English meeting of the season, and away we go. Still water over on the rail is the one that's just about got off into the lead, I think, but immediately be impressed by ESPN and Twilight World and also Note. They're being followed by Salem South and then there's a bit of a gap to the rest of them headed by Reggie's Love, but it's the grey ESPN who's gone on there from the yellow jacketed Still Water. Both those trainers are already on the winning board this week. After the first four or five races today, Salem South is in third, and then Twilight Note is in fourth. Then comes Reggie's Love to lead the next group with the second grey Rude after that one, and then Jaga Born, Nags Head is next, looking for a three time. We get a lot of three and four timers these days, never used to get that years ago. It was very difficult to win two races on a trot about eight or nine seasons ago. Now it seems to be quite commonplace to knock, notch up a bit of a sequence. But it's ESPN who's in the lead at the moment from Stillwater in second. Salem South is third and Note is four. Then Twilight World's after that one. Reggie's Lovelace after that. Then the Grey Rude. Uh, and then Jaga Bore and Nags Head with Queen of Spice, Hats and Momo, Surprise and Resentful Nick Andy at the back. But the Grey ESPN is kicking on in front with just over three furlongs still to go. Stillwater is in second. Note is in third. Then comes. Salem South, Reggie's Love and Rude are running on. Twilight World has dropped back a little bit. That's a Momo surprise. He's now on leash and run. Resentful Nick Andy is looking for racing room as well, but it's ESPN past the two with a three length lead from Stillwater in second going in hot pursuit. Now Twilight World starts to get going up the centre of the track. Salem South is also coming through. So too's Reggie's Love, but now all of a sudden it's all changed as they pass the furlong pole. And it's Twilight World who's come to challenge ESPN in between the two of them. Salem South finishing really well with Resentful Nick Andy and Reggie's Love. It's got to be close this again as they race up towards them resentful Nick Andy finishing well but it's going to be Salem South and Reggie's love to we're going to be in a photo Salem South and Reggie's love in a photo for Thomas Rogers bizarrely with the way we do things here if it's a dead heat it'll count as two winners for him so he's probably sitting there hoping it's a dead heat I don't think it is Salem South has probably taken it certainly not by half a length where they get these Distances from goodness only knows. Anyway, Salem South for Thomas Rogers, the winner. Reggie's love for Thomas Rogers, second. So good one, too, for Thomas Rogers on the final week of the season. Resentful Nick Andy for David Robertson, third. Twilight World for Martin Little was fourth. And ESPN for Satyam was fifth. <laughs>